Michael, how are you, man? I heard you had an accident. I'm so sorry. Hi, Tony. Well, in fact, I didn't have an accident. What happened was that... You know you can tell me. I also lied once to arrive later than usual. <laughs> It's not the same. I don't know. I am ashamed to tell you this. What? Why would you be ashamed? Come on. We are friends. You can tell me. All right. I'll tell you. I didn't have an accident. I went to a psychologist. To a psychologist? But why? What happened? Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Do you remember I felt sick last week? I left earlier. Yes, of course. You went to see a doctor. Or you also went to a psychologist back then? No, no, I went to the doctor. I had my defenses down. That's what he told me. But he also told me that I had to go to the psychologist. So I went there. There, I explained her everything I felt. And she told me that I had to change some habits. Change some habits? I don't get it. Why do you have to change your life? I felt sick because my defenses went down. Because I have really bad habits. So now, now I am determined to change my life. I feel better now. Yeah, I feel much better now that I told you this. I want to change my life and my habits. I really don't get it. <laughs> um, can you explain me more about that? Of course. Habits are good and bad behaviors that you repeat without giving them much thought. We are all creatures of habit. We tend to wake up at the same time each day, brush our teeth, have morning coffee, and commute to work, following the same patterns every day. So we admit forming positive habits isn't always easy, believe me depending on whether they are healthy habits or bad habits habits determine if we're going to be happy or unhappy healthy or unhealthy tired or well rested strong or weak the power of habits is amazing habits shape our attitudes actions and decisions making abilities and they affect every aspect of our lives now, it's important to know what's the difference between habits and routines. The main difference between a habit and a routine is awareness. Both are regular, repeated actions. But while habits run on autopilot, routines are intentional. That's the thing. Routines need deliberate practice, or they'll eventually die out, but a habit happens with no conscious thought. For a routine to turn into a habit, the behavior will need to happen with little or no thought. For instance, let's say you add drinking green juice to your morning routine. If one day you wake up, and make green juice without thinking about it. 
you can consider it a habit. There's a lot of great ways to build good habits, but I'll tell you that later. First, I'll tell you some examples of good habits. The first one would be plan your meals. It will help you save time and money in the long run. Block out some time, then sit down and consider your goals and needs. Do you want to lose weight? Cut back on sugar, fat, or carbs, add protein or vitamins, meal prep keeps you in control. You know what you're eating and when. It'll be much easier to skip those donuts in the break room at work. Drink plenty of water. It can do so many good things for you. Staying hydrated is at the top of the list but it may also help you lose weight. Another reason to go for H2O? Sugary drinks are linked to obesity and type 2 diabetes. If you aren't a fan of plain water, add flavor with slices of orange, lemon, lime, watermelon, or cucumber. It's delicious. What else? Oh, take an exercise break. Really important. Don't just grab another cup of coffee. Get up and move. Do some deep lunges or stretches. It's great for your body and mind. Just 30 minutes of walking five times a week may help keep the blues at bay. And if you can't do those minutes all at once, short parts help too. It's up to you. Also, go offline. Checking your email and social media a lot? Sure. Your friends' and family's latest updates are just a click away. But tell me something. Do you really need to see pictures of your cousin's latest meal? Let it wait until morning. Set a time to log off and put the phone down. When you cut back on screen time, it frees you to do other things. Take a walk, read a book, or help your cousin chop veggies for their next great dinner. What else? Oh, learn something new. New skills help keep your brain healthy. Sign up for a dance class or a creative writing workshop. Better yet, master a new language. The mental work it takes can slow the signs of aging and may even delay the effects of Alzheimer's disease. Don't smoke. If you light up, quit. It's a big move toward better health. Your body repairs itself quickly. As soon as 20 minutes after your last cigarette, your heart rate and blood pressure drop. Why wait? Kick the habit today. Your doctor will be happy to help you get started. Sleep well. There are almost too many benefits to list. A good night's sleep keeps you in a better mood, sharpens memory and focus, and helps you learn new things in long term. It lowers your risk of heart disease and helps you keep trim. Aim to get 7 to 9 hours a night. For the best rest, do it on a schedule, turning in and waking up at about the same times every day. Train your muscles. Strength training helps your body trade fat for muscle mass. But these workouts can also help you slim down, strengthen your heart and build up your bones. 
do a strength training exercise like push-ups, lunges, and weightlifting at least twice a week. Head outdoors. A few minutes in the sunshine raises vitamin D levels, and that's good for your bones, your health. Plus, being outside means you're more likely to move your body instead of parking it in front of the TV, computer. But the most important for me, be mindful. It can mean meditating or simply stopping to smell the roses. However you do it, studies show mindfulness slashes stress, relieves pain, and improves your mood. And scientists are beginning to understand how one study found that eight weeks of regular meditation can change parts of your brain related to emotions, learning, and memory. It's amazing. Even washing dishes can be good for your brain, as long as you do it mindfully. Oh my god, it's too late. We need to go back to work. Now. What you just said, it was really, really interesting. But I want to know how to build those habits. And I can tell you how, but maybe in the next video. Only if our subscribers want to know how to build good habits. I hope you liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the super thanks button. Thank you very much for your support. Take care.